Well, buongiorno everybody. It's a beautiful day today and I'm feeling like I want some steak. So, welcome to Dorina's Kitchen. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna try something new. But before I even get started, I just wanna share with you that this morning, I got up and made some of my big breakfast cookies. So I've got some of them here. And I just wanna remind you, you can find this recipe on the blog on my website. Go to DorinasKitchen.com and go to recipes and look for the Italian breakfast cookies. I had to make some, I gotta keep these in stock because they're healthy, they've got um, mo mostly whole wheat flour, a little bit of white flour to keep them light, but I've also got almond flour in here. I've got walnuts, raisins, apples, um, eggs, whatever else. So they're like, <laughs> I'm trying to remember. But anyway, the recipe's on my website, and if you're interested, go check it out. Um, so welcome to Darina's Kitchen, where we teach you how to get back to the table by cooking at home. I'm like, okay, I really wanna try this new spice I just got from Fresh Jack's, my organic spices. I'm so excited. This is the Sunrise Girls Coffee Rub. So I thought, well, this would be awesome on the grill, but we haven't got that out yet. So I'm gonna try these on some of these. I've got these little mini, you know, sirloin tip, um, little mini steaks. So we're just going to pan fry them, but I'm gonna coat them in this rub and we're going to saute some onion and some fennel. We're gonna start out by cutting up our goodies here. Cut this baby in half. Mm, I love it. You know, I used to hate um, like anything licorice -y when I was younger. And now I don't, I'm still not a big fan of black licorice, but I just love fennel. So we're gonna cut this really thin, kind of the same way I would my onions. All right, we got all that, isn't that pretty? And I've got this usually, I mean, you can do this with any onion you want, but I had this really nice big red onion and I just thought it would look pretty. Bella, un piatto bello, beautiful plate. Okay, beautiful dish. All right, so we're just going to cut this in half once. We're gonna make these kind of similar in size. So I just, okay. So we've got half of a giant red onion and half of a giant fennel. That's a lot. We've got these little bit of, um, these little steaks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in my pan here, just enough to coat. I already warmed the pan so the oil's spreading around nice. And now I'm going to just take these steaks. Can you see? Yes, you can see here. And we are going to sprinkle them with some of this. Mm, actually, no, I like to do it by hand. So we're going to take some of this. Mm, I really, really like this. And I just feel like when I was thinking this morning, I was smelling this, I'm like, hmm, what would be good with this to put in with the steaks? Besides, obviously it's gonna taste good just plain, but I wanted to have something. So I'm just gonna make a little pasta with aglio olive and oil, oh, olive oil and garlic um, on the side. I think it'll just be simple to complement these flavors. All right, so I'm gonna put just a pinch of salt on them all, because this, let me just double check, does not have salt, uh, nope, does not have salt in it. It's got all these other, oh, it does have a little bit of pink Himalayan salt, but it's, let's taste it. It's not that salty. So I'm just gonna put a smidge of salt, a little extra black pepper just because I always do that. And let's put a little bit more of this. Okay, and I'm going to just put these spice side down. So then I'm gonna sprinkle more on top. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the top side. Now I know that this is also gonna be really good as a dry rub, like on a roast, you know, these would be really, I can tell you already, I mean, I can tell you this would be really nice with that. Okay, let's see here. Okay, put the other side. Now that I'm putting the other side, now I'm going to put in my um, other goodies. We're just gonna let them all kind of cook together. 
in the meat juices. Now, if my steaks get done, I'm gonna take them out because I don't want them to overcook and get all dry. And then we'll just leave these beautiful veggies to saute in those juices. I think it's gonna be really yummy. Eh, let's throw them all in, what the heck. If I have leftover, I'll use them on something else. Save them for a sandwich. Mmm. Oh, I can smell the fennel already. All right. So we're just letting these babies cook down. Let's see how my little steaks are doing. You know what? These are perfect. I don't want them to be overcooked because then they get tough. Let those cook. I'm gonna put just a pinch of salt. Actually, no, I'm not gonna put too much of that. I'm gonna put a pinch of this in just for to tie the flavors together. Huh, put another one. All right, so we're just letting those cook up really quickly. So this is a quickie today, but I wanted to really the biggest thing I wanted to do was sh to share this cowboy spice, and I'm gonna actually I'm gonna test taste this right in front of you but also to share with you a use for fennel. It's, you know, if you mix it in with your onions at any given time that you're frying up onions. Um, now, you know, in Italy, you'll just get a chunk like this. They'll cut it in chunks, put it on a dish. You just kind of help yourself to a piece. Now, if you're doing a bunch of this and you really want the, um, the fennel to break down more, put the fennel in a minute before the onions. Now, red onions to me always seem like they take a little longer than the yellow onions to break down, so this is kind of okay. But if you want the, um, the fennel a little softer, more onion-like when it's cooked, put it in first and put the onions in a minute later. But honestly, with the red, I think this is going really nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and just take this skinny piece off of here. This is not gonna make a pretty dish. Gotta taste it. Mmm, that's a nice... Mmm. That's really nice. It's not... You know how some spices, and especially some of those, like, steak seasonings and things, they're, like, really, like, hit you in the face pungent. This is very... Well, of course, I probably... I didn't put a whole lot on, so I wanted to kind of test it first. Oh, these are getting nice now. But, um, yeah, I probably would, I like this enough that I'll probably sprinkle it an extra sprinkle on. You know, so this would be a second course. So, you know, you take two nice pieces like this. And then we just take some of these beautiful. Oh, yum. This beautiful onions and, and uh, fennel sauteed on top of your steak. But with, with the sweetness of this and the kind of savory, you know what, That there's that flavor that people talk about that I just think is the weirdest umami. But I think that's kind of what this is. It's kind of like that savory flavor on the steak and then the sweetness of this. That is a really nice compliment to the steak, both ways with the spice. So this is my Fresh Jack Spice. So I'm telling you, I love these guys. So um, there's a link on my Dorena's Kitchen Facebook page that you can go directly to Fresh Jacks from my link. And if you go by my link, you'll get 15% discount and they give donations to feed hungry children. So I love them because I raised 600 hungry children <laughs> and I fed them every day. So I know how hard that is and this world needs it. So it needs the help. So I love a company with purpose, you know, kind of like me, I have purpose. I'm teaching you to cook so you can get back to the table. So this is a very, when you're, those moments, you know, keep a packet, keep a couple packs of thin steaks in your fridge. You know, these are like those, they'll call them, if you're in New Jersey, they'll call them a brajol steak. You know, make them, you know, they're bigger and, they'll, and they're thin and you can roll them up and stuff them. Down here in Delaware, they call them little, you know, sirloin tip sandwich steaks. However it is, you know, these are nice and tender. You know, if you get them and they're nice and tender, good, if not pound them a little bit. But it's nice to have these little steaks as a quick side dish and you can just saute up some onions. And if you by chance have some fennel, which is called finocchio in Italian, which I love. 
And I love it raw, it makes a great salad, but it's really, really nice. And most people that I've ever met here in America never cook the fennel. Try it sometime, it's really nice. Treat it like onion or celery, add it to a soup, add it to a dish like this, and you've got something new and different. Just a hint of difference, but you know, it, it changes things for you. So um, this is a quickie meal that you guys can bring to the table, but everybody's always happy when you bring little steaks. I don't know what it is. And you know, a big fat steak is awesome, but we don't really need a big fat steak. But you know, one or two little pieces like this after you've had your main course, perfect. Also, I'm still in the competition. There's only two days left for the next round. So on Thursday, they drop those of us that are in the top 15 and they knock it down to the top 10 in each group. So Thursday is top 10. So if you all would continue voting for me, I'd really appreciate it. And um, then we'll go from there. We'll see what happens next. So I'm really excited though. I'm still in first place in my group. Um, and what else? Of course, the Fresh Jacks link is on my page. I'll put it on this um, recipe, um, or I'll put it on uh, the, the um, what do you call it? On, the, on, this, on this video, I'll put it, the link to them there too, as well as when I post the recipe. If you wanna call it a recipe, this isn't really a recipe, this is what is called home cooking. Throw it together and boy, it tastes good. You know, I didn't even need to do anything else to this. Little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of my cowgirl spice. I should have worn my cowboy hat, cowgirl hat, whatever. I should have worn my hat, and my boots. But anyway, you know, so it's really, really a good way to make something. Bring your family to the table. I tried something new yesterday really quickly. If anybody has heard of a new app called Clubhouse, it's only available to people at the moment who have iPhones, and it's only iPhone, not iPad, not, uh, not an Android. But if you have an iPhone, there's this app called Clubhouse. And it's kind of like doing a Zoom call, but not faces, it's strictly voice. But you go into these rooms and it's just having conversations. Um, and there's all kinds of different topics and there's moderators who are talking about something. So it's almost like going to a lecture or um, like a class where you can interact. So there's option, there's different ones I've found so far. It's new, it's only a couple months old, but I'm on there and I'm gonna start, uh, you know, just doing some more talks about this whole concept of getting back to the table. So um, I'm just learning how to use it, but just adding one more thing to my, you know, let's do something else, Darina, because we got nothing else to do. <laughs> anyway, have a good day, y'all. Ciao.